If I've learned one thing at all from these what I eat in a day videos, it's that these people don't actually follow these diets. They have no clue what they're talking about when it comes to nutrition. It's just conventional wisdom. And in the cases of these celebrities like Nina Dobrev that we did a few weeks ago, they're not even showing what they're eating. And I've come to think that most of these other dietary influencers, carnivore, vegan, aren't actually following the diet. They're just putting on a show because all most of them have to do is film a video for 20, 30 minutes several times a week and you don't get to see what's going on in their actual life. You know, something drastically different from what I illustrate on my channel. So uh, let's see if we have any new celebrity surprises, some dietary wisdom. Maybe Abby Shart uh, can chime in on this one too. Hello everyone, I'm Julianne Huff and I'm excited to share with you everything I eat in a day. I can understand how women look at them and say, oh, I wanna look like that, I wanna follow that diet. Did you listen to her voice? Her voice is deeper than mine. <laughs> Do you wanna sound like her too? So first things first, the minute I wake up in the morning, <laughs> Like, you don't need shoulder pads. Your shoulders are wide enough. Morning. The first thing that I do when I open my eyes, I drink my lemon water that I've prepped the night before. And that usually consists of lukewarm temperatured water with... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, the, these are so... I don't know if these videos are as funny to you guys, but she goes to describe the ingredients that are in lemon water. I did a whole skit in one of my carnivore goes vegan videos on lemon water and, and you're basically dousing your stomach with agrochemicals the main issue is the pollutants in the tap water which she just said and then you know the lemon isn't that really that big of a deal anything you're adding to your diet in a very small amount obviously the pollution concerns are much smaller but we still want to be mindful of them but you know birth control antibiotics let alone agrochemicals in our water supply it's why i only consume bottled water and even only brush my teeth with bottled water half a lemon and sitting overnight really getting all those juices washed out in there and the reason why I take it first thing in the morning is we've just been laying down we're sleeping and anything that was kind of left residue from the night before I can take that lemon water and feel like I'm cleaning my system out starting with a fresh palette for the day then it kind of depends on what my my morning routine looks like as far as my exercise, my breath work, my meditation. But usually I find a way to either do some sort of celery juice or something that also gives me a little bit of sugar before I go uh, do a quick I mean, considering the lemon water flushing out her system, I thought she was about to say something else that also makes me shit my pants. I mean, celery juice is probably even worse from the pollution standpoint because even if you're going organic, Every single liquid that celery is grown with, you know, is in the celery itself. The, the pollutants would be concentrated. So when you take something high volume like celery and you juice it, you know, you're not really getting that many calories. Not, not a good idea. I got to do a whole video on celery juice nonsense. Or I'll do like amino acids or something like that to just give me that. Someone from big celery is going to beat me with a giant celery more. stick. So that's my morning now. I drink coffee, not because I feel like I need it, but because... So delusional. <laughs> yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously you don't drink coffee because of the caffeine, obviously. Yes, I love the ritual of having something warm, that smell, and I Coping. just love the taste Justifying. of Justifying. I'm technically not supposed to have coffee, so it is like a special treat for me if I do have coffee. So in return, I will do a matcha tea or a matcha latte. That's sort of my other cozy favorite. Um, otherwise, I try to stick to herbal teas and that's always really helpful throughout the day. So after my first half of my work day and I'm ready for- I honestly wonder how many of these vegans are just like, <laughs> like vomiting out their ass with, <laughs> with these concoctions. Like imagine you drink like a liter of celery juice, then like a giant cup of matcha tea and it's just all green coming out the other end. Ugh.
lunch. I love soup. Surprised so I don't look like Shrek. I will usually make a lot and freeze it so that I can have it throughout the week. I'm really big on variations, so I don't eat the same thing every day, but today I'm going to have a butternut squash soup with carrot, and this is like the Ayurvedic way, so um, all plant-based and uh, vegan. For my salad, I'm going to keep it really fresh with some asparagus, broccolini, some beets, watermelon radishes with some uh, ginger on top over a bed of spinach. Some of the dressings that I really like to use, um, apple cider vinegar, Honestly, I know it sounds pretty dull, but it helps the digestion first and foremost. If I'm lucky, I'll find some sort of like gluten-free cracker. And by the way, I sound so LA right now with all this gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, but it's because my body needs it. Because <laughs> Oh, these people are such liars. It's disgusting. As she holds a prepped soup and a prepped salad that she definitely didn't make herself, and she had to memorize a script just to know what ingredients are in it. Trust me, do I love flour, I love sugar, I love cookies, I love all the things, but I'm really just trying to focus on my health from the inside out. All right, dinner time. So I have this mung doll that I've prepared. Some free crackers, uh, some toasted black sesame seeds, and then of course I'm gonna make some uh, sides as well. So we've got sweet potato, asparagus, uh, some ginger, collard greens, uh, Swiss chard, spinach. Now. This is dinner. This is really nourishing, really yummy. I feel really full by the end of it. But you feel really full because the whole day you've been stuffing your stomach with low calorie, high volume foods. This is like an anorexia diet. This is what a lot of these vegans do. They starve themselves. And when you don't go organic, what you're really doing is consuming a ton of pollutants. So yeah, you might feel better because you're not stressing your digestive system because you can't digest the food. You're not digesting the food. Your liver's not working. Your pancreas isn't working. They don't have to produce digestive enzymes, but you're not getting energy. So although you might feel better than eating crap all day, especially with, with how low quality a standard American diet is, you're not nourishing your body in any way. Yet they use the words like nourishing and healthy. Really, what's in it besides an unnecessary amount of carotenoids and flavonoids and plant-based micronutrients that aren't getting digested anyway? But one of the things that I do love is making sure that I'm still having pleasure with my food throughout the day. And that's when I either choose to have a glass of wine or a cocktail, depending on the occasion. So if it's just me. A lot of vegans do this too. They basically starve themselves the whole day and then drink a bottle of wine before they go to bed. I mean, that's probably what half the women in America do now. By myself no offense, here. Ladies. I'll put on a Zoom with one of my girlfriends and we'll have a glass of wine, which speaking- Frankie boy doesn't lie. Love. This is one of my favorite wines. Oh, no, no, no. Nina, wasn't Nina Dobrev pushing Julian Ho's wine? <laughs> Dude, the, 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 this is so funny. It's almost like Harper's Bazaar is, uh, is sponsored by her, her dog shit wine company. It's my wine with my best friend, Nina. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Plug. That's usually what I like to do, too. You ladies should invite me over. I could cook you some meat. Day. If I could more ways than one. Any, uh, words of encouragement with what you eat, it's... I'm not as gentle yourself, as those vegan boys, everything though. Everything in moderation. I'll leave it at that. And if you love your body and you love what you're putting into your body, your body's going to know. So if you're already telling yourself, oh, I shouldn't be eating this. and oh, So shitting your pants six times a day on a vegan diet, is your body telling you that your diet's good? If you're going to drink, if you're going to have a, a yummy sweet tooth, then enjoy it. Like take the pleasure in it. All right. That, my friends, is everything I eat. You're such a liar. I mean, the first comment on this is pretty accurate. So she's vegan, plant-based, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, refined grains-free, protein-free, fun-free. Sounds just like the balanced, everything in moderation advice she gives all of us at the end. This is basically saying it's bullshit, you know? Even the people in the comments now, <laughs> yeah, they're, oh wait, this is hilarious. The second she mentioned drinking lemon water to clean out the residue from the night before, I knew this would be terrible and filled with misinformation. Can't wait for Abby to review it. Oh yeah, as if Abby take a shit in your mouth is gonna is gonna help you on that one. It might be a little bit rude. If you guys didn't see the video I did on her some months ago, 
I think it's titled Abby Sharp is like a Google warrior. I spoke about how she had like six or she had something ridiculous. It was like seven miscarriages. It was insane. I'm not exaggerating. Like she had like six or seven miscarriages, had a very hard time conceiving. She can't even get her own fertility correct. Yet she's a dietitian expert on YouTube. Yeah. Listen to Abby Sharp if you want to kill babies. I think I've said that before. It's nice to see that these people are realizing the BS, but what they're not realizing is that every single thing is fake. The whole video's fake. It's to get you to eat these products, deprive yourself of meat, be stupid and easy to control. Uh, a big thing they do is they try to get you sucked in to believe it and then argue about what's true and what's not true. <laughs> I don't care what's true. I don't care what's not true if the whole premise of what you're doing is a lie. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and definitely check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. It's funny, I saw a, a few shill comments. Oh, the reason he loses subscribers is because he's not carnivore anymore. <laughs> you guys are fucking comedians, keep it up. Uh, so check out frank-stefano.com if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses. I'll see you guys tomorrow if a uh, big celery doesn't beat me to death.